Okay, I am super excited today because I have finally found a way to track my Bovada poker stats using my Mac computer. And here it is. Poke it. Poke it can do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it because it's a little tricky, but we'll get through it. The software we're going to be using to track it is called Poke It. It's free to track 10,000 hands and then it's five dollars a month to track a hundred thousand hands prices go up from there I think that's very affordable poke it offers a lot of detail a lot of graphs and it's working for me so far I'm gonna show you the first thing you need to do before you even download poke it software is you need to be able to save your hand history in Bovada if you come into Bovada you click on account Go to hand history. The hand history will not be available for download until 24 hours after the session has ended. So these sessions are ones I played today. I can't download those yet. But if you go back in time, 71 or seven days in the past, you'll be able to actually download your hand history. Now I've already requested to download everything so I don't have the option. But right up here there will be a download all button you're gonna have to regularly go and click that button because you can only download your hand history like I said 24 hours after it was played but also it's not available for very long either a few days I think you can't download old hand histories download period finished back on the 20th and it's only the 27th so a week ago so I think they're only good for about a week so at least once a week you need to come in here and request a download once you request that download um, it's gonna download text files to a hand history folder on your computer okay where that I'm gonna show you right now where that hand history folder is contained and you're gonna have to go there and you're gonna have to create an alias so that we can point the Pokit software to that alias because we cannot point the Pokit software to that folder because it's hidden and I'm going to show you what I mean. So where these hand histories are actually going, you go to HD, you go to your applications, you got your Bovada Poker. You actually need to right click there and hit show package contents. And that's the reason we can't point the other program to it because you can't right click when you're selecting a folder to open. It's kind of confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. Contents, Mac OS, Hand History. That's where it's located. When you hit save or when you hit request download, over the next couple hours, whenever the download request goes through, the session stats are going to show up here as a text file. Okay. What we need to do is point poke it at this folder, but we can't because poke it won't allow us to find this hidden folder that's hidden within the package contents. So what we can do is we can click on hand history, right click, create an alias. So click make alias. Now you have this mirrored alias of hand history and we can put that alias anywhere on our computer and anything that changes inside hand history like new hand stats being downloaded will change anything that changes in that folder will change in the alias folder as well so it's like a mirror take that alias folder and put it wherever you want on your computer that you know you're just gonna leave it there I put it right on my desktop it's right here so I just cop I just copied and pasted it over since I've already done it I'm not gonna do it again Okay, so now we know that our we're downloading our Bovada hand history and we've created an alias on our desktop or wherever you want to create it. Now we can go and get the Pokit software. I'll put a link in the description. Go ahead and download it. It's going to ask you to add a folder, which is basically a hand history folder, and that's the alias we just created. I'm going to show you if you don't do it during setup you can actually come here and click on add folder this is poke it software right here click on add folder and just go to the folder that you created 
if you try to go to the actual non-alias, you're going to go to Applications, it won't let you click on Bovada. No matter what you do, you can't get in there. But we can go to that alias we created on our desktop and go ahead and select it, Hand History Alias. Click Choose. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. You can come over here and check that it went through. Go to Settings, Folders, and you can see that that folder is there. That Hand History Alias is selected. Okay, so now it's pointing to the proper folder. And as long as you're on the internet, because this is cloud-based, as long as you're on the internet, it'll start uploading all that hand history to the server. Um, and it can take a while. The upload usually happens pretty quick, but then it can take a while before any of the stats show up. It can take almost an hour, it took me the first time. I thought it wasn't working, and I kept doing it over and over and over and over, and I found out it just takes some time. So once you see that this little status indication here says that it's uploading the hand histories and then you're pretty much set. Just leave it online, let it do its thing in the background. Eventually you're going to be able to come over here and launch the Pokit website, which is actually where we started out, which shows all of our graphs and everything and there's lots of information you can look at in here. You can do hand browser, look at individual hands with great detail. You get to see all the hands of the people mucked. What I've really liked is the report builder. You're able to look at your stats very specifically. Um, I went to this filter and just kind of looked at my cash game hands. And it tells me everything. It tells me like my totals since August 20th to 26th. So six days I played two hours and 55 minutes. I played a thousand hands because I was playing... Uh, I was multi-tabling zone poker, which is really fast. My average win rate is is 13.6 big blinds per 100. It gives you all the details you could ever want. And I've never had this with Bovada before because you can't, poker tracker and that will not accept Bovada files. Um, so this is really good. And as long as you're going into your Bovada account and consistently downloading your hand data it will automatically upload to poke it I don't think there's anything else to say there is one thing I was gonna point out real quick same topic but a little bit different is I did find this website called hhxpoker.com I'll put a link that's a Bovada hand converter which is pretty cool you can take those text files from your hand history and upload them and it basically converts them to a, a much more reader friendly format something where you could take a specific hand and um, put it up on the internet something you could upload to 2 plus 2 forums or whatever and people could read through the hand very quickly um, if you go and look through these hand history fold files they're pretty ugly pretty hard to read you can tell what's happening if you give it enough time but if you go ahead and put that text file in here and convert it, it's going to make it look a lot prettier, a lot easier to read, and it's been very useful for me so far. So that's all I had to bring up about Bovada, hand, st <laughs> hand converters, stats, you know, stat tracker, and using a Mac. Because there is another stat tracker that works, but it only works on PC. And so this is what will work on your Mac. I'm going to end the video there. Have a good one. Peeps.